Hello everyone! So today I have another Art Snacks box for you. It is a monthly subscription box that comes filled with delicious art supplies. Also, if you want to purchase a box yourself, use the code CATVALK on their website, I will leave the link below, and you will get 10% discount on your first order. Also, also, thanks Art Snacks for sponsoring this video. So this is the October box, as you may have guessed, since it has this dark theme to it with the black tissue paper and all that. Alright, so let's see what we have here. So we have two pens wrapped in this paper, one Amsterdam acrylic paint marker in this yellowish orangey color, and a white jelly roll gel pen. I think I have like 150 of these now. And the candy, of course, we have a sour punch, and I am such a big baby when it comes to sour things, I just can't eat it. What is your favorite candy? Mine is definitely salty licorice, mm, delicious. Then we have the little supply list, or the menu as they like to call it, where we find information about the art supplies and their retail prices, prices, retail prices and such things, and a little sticker. Then we have this Kuretake Bimoji Feud brush pen, and this is apparently a limited edition product, and it comes in 10 different patterns or designs. So I got this orangey color with flowers and leaf pattern, very cute. I don't really love the fact though that it is just paper that is glued on, and it is coming off a little bit in the back. It makes it feel a little cheapish, but I do have a couple of these pens already, just the regular ones, and I really like them. Lastly, we have the Marabu Graphics Colored Fineliners in a set of four in red, blue, green, and black. Alright, so let's try these things out. I really like the color of this Amsterdam paint marker. It has a very warm autumn -y tone to it. I was a little bit skeptical over the noises it made though. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that sound. The other supplies work just as expected. The Jelly Roll gel pen has this super fine nib, so I'm pretty sure it will clog up pretty soon, unfortunately. That is just my experience with these gel pens. It showed up pretty well on the other supplies though. So as I mentioned, the yellowish orangey marker had a really nice autumn vibe to it, and I know that now when it is November that some of you guys have already moved on to winter and Christmas, but to me it is still fall with yellow leaves outside. And I just had this urge to draw cute things lately, so I decided to do a little autumn creature that is based off a pumpkin. Yeah, maybe not the most original idea, I agree, but I've never done it before, so to me it's new, kind of. And I also had to google pumpkin leaves, and good thing that I did, because I've been drawing them wrong this whole time, apparently. So if you're not sure about what certain things look like, use references. Then moving on to the actual artwork. Since I had some plans to use water with these art supplies, I wanted nice and sturdy paper that works well with wet medium, also known as watercolor paper. So I decided to continue on my Moleskin watercolor sketchbook that I used for all my Inktober pieces. Maybe I should do an Inktober sketchbook tour, let me know if that would be of any interest. So I'm doing the faces of these creatures like jack-o'-lanterns, and I think they turned out so cute. Again, not a super original idea, but I like it. The leaves are like ears, and the stem of the pumpkin will work as tails, kind of. And the paint in the paint marker goes on really smoothly without even tearing or ripping the paper. 
It isn't super opaque though, so the sketch lines underneath will still show through. And I think you could go over it a couple of more times to get better coverage though. The color is not really that pumpkin orange, I noticed, but I think it works anyway. Then I took the plastic casing that the Kuretake brush pen came in and I scribbled with the blue and the red fineliner on it and then I took a paintbrush with water on it and used the fineliner ink as watercolors and you have probably seen me use this technique a couple of times now in different videos but I just think it is a great thing that you can do when you don't have that many art supplies to work with because I think that watercolors are great in the way that you can cover up large areas in no time and get more discreet backgrounds if you want to so it is a really good technique to use if you don't have real watercolors but you still want that watercolor effect Then I did the same thing with a green pen and used it as a base for the pumpkin stems and the leaves and then I outlined it all with a Kuretake brush pen and I think the line work really brought this piece together. It is really fun to be using colors again after Inktober. Inktober really took over my life there for a month and I actually did promise myself to take it easy and make more simple drawings but nope, of course I had to spend way too much time on every little art piece. So next year I think I will actually skip Inktober and do November instead, where you have a new color tone every day to work with and make art with, so it seems like a lot of fun, so yeah I might actually try that instead. And I've also realized how much I like to draw cute or just creatures like this. I would love to come up with even more original characters and creatures. That is something I need to practice more on. Maybe sometime we could do a challenge or a collab where you guys give me different features and environments for a character like big eyes, lives in the ocean, has free tails or whatever. And I will try to put all of these things together into one creature or character. I think that could be super fun. Anyways, I really like how this piece is coming together. I think the little details with the fineliners at the end gives it more dimension and depth and I think these pens could be super fun to just doodle with. Also, what would you call these creatures? Let me know in the comments below. One of my suggestions would be Jack o Russells, you know, like Jack Russells. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and thanks Art Snacks for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link below if you would like to subscribe to a box yourself and use the code CATVALK for 10% discount on your first order. And I would super appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell to get notified every time I post new art and videos and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!